Right. Let me actually um, shrink this down a bit. So, oh, come on. There we go. Whoop. Ah, no steady. There we go. That way I can kind of see the question too. Right. Uh, B part one. So these uh, x minus one and x plus one are factors of this cubic. Ax cubed minus three x squared minus 2x plus d. So that means when you divide by x minus 1 and x uh, plus 1, the remainder for both of them should be 0 if they're factors. So that means if I use 1 or minus 1 in the formula, what should it equal? Zero. Yeah, so this should equal 0 and this one should equal 0 as well. So it's a remainder theorem. And this is um, just going to be a minus 3 minus 2, so that's uh, minus 5, yeah? yeah? Plus d equals 0, and this one here will be minus a minus 3 plus 2, so that's minus 1, uh, plus d equals 0. So if you add these together, minus 6 plus 2d equals 0, so d equals 3. And if you put d as 3 in here, uh, or even actually if you put d as 3 in here, uh, minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. A is 2? Um, so what does the question want? A and D? Right. So then the second part here is factorized. So you have ax cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus d and you want the three factors here. And we already know two of them. Uh, x minus 1 and x plus 1. How can I find the third factor? Yeah, that's one way to do it. But I have a better way to do it. Anyone know? What is it? Nope. <laughs> no marks for you. Any other ideas? If you use the line expression, it's only two, two, I can do it quicker than that. Any ideas? And the reason I can do it so quickly is because I have two of the factors. So if you look, x multiply x multiply something should make 2x cubed. So here is 2x. Minus 1 multiply 1 multiply something should make 3. Finished. No need for long division. Now if you did long division that's fine. It's fine. But uh, this is the quickest way I can do it. Because I have two factors, this is why I can do it. Most students did long division. But if you look at the marks, it's two marks only, so, you know, can't be too long. Yeah. So what I did, um, x multiply x, if I, in my head, I went x multiply x multiply what? equals 2x cubed. So the number here must be 2x. And then in my head I did minus 1 multiply 1 multiply what makes 3. So this here must be minus 3. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Did anybody do it this way? Mm, no. Okay. 
Uh, continue? Yeah? Uh, what's next? Yeah. Geometric. Geometric. B2. Okay, try this, please. All of it? Yeah, all of it.